So we're getting into the middle of October and uh, Jolene and I are going on a little trip. We leave to Doha. We're going to visit none other than Mr. Tony Vargas. That's right. He's in Doha and Qatar. From Qatar, we'll head to Adelaide. And Adelaide is in the southern end of Australia. That's right, Australia. And from Adelaide, We'll fly to Port Lincoln. We're going on the Rodney Fox with Stephen Frank and Mike E from CRF. But we're going to go on the FE Rodney Fox looking for white sharks for five nights down in the Neptune Islands. That should be a heck of an adventure. From there, we'll go to Canes, go off to the Barrier Reef on a Mike Ball dive and go see corals and fish and everything we put in our aquariums from Australia. From there, we'll go down to Brisbane and uh, visit with uh, Tim and Robin at Aqua Blue, their distributor for Kemi Pure for the last. 30 years. Then we'll head to Sydney and do a little more touristy stuff in Sydney, check out some fish stores as well. And then off to Hawaii for some time when we try to catch up with the tropical fish collectors that are still working on their permitting there. And from uh, Hawaii, we'll eventually end up in LA, visit the wholesalers um, there as well. And then back to Florida in the middle of November. So it's gonna be a very long trip. So today, before we're going, I'm ready to set up the Island Reef Aquarium. This was in the trade shows. I put the levelers down at the bottom that hold and support the weight when we put the water in. I've got a really great stack of Marco Rock that we just picked up. Actually, yesterday I went and got some really nice big plates and some flats too some Aqua Roche base pieces, and then I got another stack of Aqua Roche here too, kind of laid out, and we're gonna make an open interior in this 400 gallon reef. I'm gonna aim towards going up here with a plateau and then another shelf and then an island out on this end. So we have a nice open see-through, and this light seal is really cool. You just push it out of the way for when you get into the aquarium. Also acts, doubles as a suntan booth. I might get a sunburn on the top of my head. So we're gonna get ready and start rocking and rolling in this reef. These base rocks are gonna go first. I probably just get three of those, maybe four, these guys. And then I'm gonna take this rock next, that big flat plateau, and then this monster rock will go in after that. And we may use some of these and make an island out on the other end. This one here on the end is gonna be the first rock you'll give me, that piece right here. And that's gonna go on the plateau down here and get some elevation. And when you pick these up, use two hands. See how this one's not holding together? If you use two hands, then it won't fall in the tank and break the aquarium. And uh, we'll go into the little fish bowl and get ready to rock. If we don't break it, I'll buy you lunch. Now he's really motivated. <laughs> neat thing about using a, a combined amount of aqua roche and marco rock is that I can get elevation and elevation is a wonderful thing so just like that look at the elevation perfect and the key is to get it so it doesn't really move yeah there you go those other three rocks get me those I mean, I could put the, the flat Marco Rock pieces in there. That might be a little more stable. Let's try it. It's heavy. You gotta spin it. This piece is gonna go the other way, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Just hold the, hold the towel. Right, because the fish can swim around, we're not blocking all the current. Start giving me like three of those flat pieces at a time. The three at once. And then take the big rock off on the other plate, on the other side. Yeah. The other one too, once you get this one here. This is how you do it, rock and roll. So how does it look? Easy, right? Way too fast, should we do it again? Okay, well, I think I'm gonna get out of the fishbowl and then we'll put the lights back over it and uh, see what it looks like. God, I hope they don't fall over. 
you got some elevations in here. We can plant some coral right on the back side of that piece of aqua roche, but you got a nice swim through, you got a valley, got some holes, plenty of elevation off the floor, plenty of room to run the magnets and clean the aquarium, plenty of room places. So this is gonna be soft corals. It's gonna be really freaking awesome for sure. Alex is gonna get some sand. We have some bioactive live sand from Worldwide Imports and we have salt water ready right over here on the reef aquarium. So we should have this thing up and running and put a little Fritzine uh, treble start into the aquarium, a little chemi pure and boom, right down the reef, nice and open. We got area for the corals to grow, kind of like a V structure, but simple. I could put a branch piece off of this one too, if I want to, but yeah, I like it. Made it really easy, ready to roll. Gotta go catch a plane. Remember to like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.